These two vape chargers look nearly identical. Compared side by side, there are few differences between a safe charger and one infected with malicious programming. But when you go to charge with this one, in only a few short seconds, hackers have unlimited access to things like your passwords, your entire file system, or even your webcam. A couple of years ago, I saw this article online. Some vapes were coming pre-installed with malware straight from the manufacturer, so I wanted to build my own to see if this was feasible. I ordered this vape and this charger and started building. Ah, yes, there it is. This is strictly for uh, educational purposes. <coughs> Mark, what are you doing? To see how I could exploit these chargers, I needed to tear this one down. Aha! This is what the inside of a fake charger looks like. circuit board in this thing. Since there's only a red and black, red and black wires going to the USB, that means the data lines aren't even used. So you can be safe to say that this one has no malware. But that's not always the case, as you will soon see. When I wanted to approach this project, I had a few ideas in mind. I needed to somehow have a keyboard interface inside the charger. The plan was to unsolder every component from the DigiSpark. Unsolder every single component and resolder only the necessary ones as a means of saving space. But as it turns out, the entire DigiSpark board fits inside the casing perfectly and it'll close with the original charging circuit attached, which means this project will take practically no work. I have an old USB cable here that I will be chopping up. Since the original charging circuit doesn't have lines for data, I need a cable that does have lines for data. That way I can actually interface as a keyboard. Since there's only three cables in the USB cable, I'm gonna have to test to see which one holds the power. I've got it plugged up. The, the loose copper strands over here those, that is the ground. I twisted them up 
and yeah I found the ground so I'm getting five volts I'm ready to move on it's solder time safety first don't want to get lung cancer I was unable to find the roll of solder, so we will be making this entire project with a scrap of solder not longer than my middle finger. Slightly longer than my middle finger. It's just a cool challenge, that's all. Let's do it. I will be soldering according to the instructions written on my hand. These wire colors correspond to those when you face this forward. So black, green, white, red, that's ground, data plus, data minus, and five volts. And oh. ah, now that I have successfully contracted cancer, let's go test the product. Now we're on the way. So if this works, you should see this text typed into the notepad. Now let's try. And we now have a working keyboard typing whatever payload we want into the computer. In theory, this is all I need left. I could just stick this inside the original enclosure and it would run malware on your computer. But I wanna be true to my promise and I want this to actually charge a vape while simultaneously installing malware. So I can't use this one anymore. I accidentally broke off the red thing here. So I'm gonna use one of these backups that I purchased just for this reason. So here it is, and time to break this one open in a similar fashion to the last one. We got our professional opener tool here. Oh yeah, that crack sound, that sounds bad, but actually means it's good. The circuit is completed, and this should charge the pin. Let's do a quick test. So let us see if the vape charges. Once again, I don't smoke this. I am against vape. It's working. Sweet. So now that means we've got. Oh no. <sighs> the golden pads ripped off the Digi Spark, which means I now have to start over. I rebuilt the entire thing, and here it is, a fully concealed, fully undetectable, malicious, malicious vape charger. So I will show you a demo I plug in the malicious one and show you that it can in fact type
while simultaneously charging. You're in the shop? <laughs> Well, time to charge the vape. Uh, sorry, you can't do this. Let's look at his webcam. <laughs> 